All right, we're good to go here. I'm gonna go grab the old chest rig for this thing and we'll go out for a spin. Let's get some fat moto action. try out their new like the fat tire version of this bike I'm sure that would be a lot more fun riding on stuff like this but you know if the price were a little better maybe because I mean is it fun yeah is it twelve hundred dollars worth of fun no not even close well I shouldn't say not even close it is fun. Oh shit, there's definitely something burning up in the mountain. Get rid of beans, boys! rowdy little bike for what it is.
All right, that's enough. I don't want to be beating on his bike. That's not nice. We'll take an easy ride back. Like, the suspension doesn't soak up anything. Like, not, it doesn't even pretend to. Like I said, though, we'll take it easy on the way back. Because the bike is uh, its capable of it. For the most part. The wheels aren't the greatest. Actually, no, I take that back. The rims are actually pretty solid. This is a decent speed to cruise around, have some fun. You know what I mean? Have fun for a couple hours on like five bucks worth of gas. Tell you what though, you don't realize how spoiled you are by a full suspension bike until you're not riding one. Like usually I could just coast right through here and not feel a thing. Now it's like I'm sitting on a jackhammer. Because the stock seat isn't anything illustrious. bike I definitely get a little more rowdy with it but I don't want to break anything on Miguel
There you have it. The Fat Moto. Ah, do I need to adjust that idle? Nah, it sounds fine to me. Considering it's nice and hot now. Yeah, that's good. Hope you enjoyed that video. Another little ride out so you can see what the Fat Moto is capable of. I tell you what, I really would like to try one of the newer... Take these stupid glasses off. One of the newer, uh, the fat tire models, with all, you know, like the nice cargo racks on them and everything. I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, nice beefy, like three and a half, four inch wide tires, whatever that comes on them. And the engine, uh, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's all right. It's just, it's okay. You know what I mean? It's nothing special. It's, it gets you around. And I mean, you just saw the video. It, it could get down. And like I said, if it had, uh, the only thing I would upgrade really first and foremost is these forks. These things are rough. Better forks, uh, maybe a better seat, but there's really no compensating for just, you know, a, a hardtail bike on trails. So yeah, guys, if you like the video and you want to see more stuff like this, I'm actually thinking about building another motorized bike. I'm, uh, I don't know if I'm going to go two-stroke or four-stroke. Probably two-stroke, just because it's more fun. The four-stroke bikes, I think, are a little more fun and just user-friendly overall, but the two-strokes are just, they're more fun. And who doesn't like the sound of a well-tuned two-stroke? I mean, really. <laughs> main 25 pilot and the needle is in the middle position but I got all these I don't know if you'll be able to see under here right now but I have all these boxes with just yeah there you go you can see that all these parts just CDI's I think there's a PW80 CDI in here somewhere I was planning on putting that on my MXS bike before I sold all that off but yeah, I mean, look at all this crap. I just got case pieces, botched attempts at porting from when I was first getting started into this stuff. What is this, the GTZ jug? Yeah, this is the original first run of the GTZ jugs from California Motorbikes. Ported for, <laughs> ported for Reed. Just trenched out real quick. I don't know, maybe it'll run good. We'll see one of these days. Yeah, I just got all these case pieces. I think the, really the main thing I need is a crank, but that's not hard to source. I could definitely get some of that through the old uh, Facebook group that I, well, can't really say I run anymore. I am still an admin there. If that counts for much of anything, I am still an admin. It's called Mother's Best Motorized Bikes. I highly recommend you go check it out if you're into these bikes. Bunch of really cool guys there great just a plethora of information for you to take in so yeah if you enjoy these bikes you enjoy the hobby you want to meet some cool new people that are all about this check it out i'll put a link in the description below so all right i'm not going to ramble on anymore guys i'm going to cut out of here thanks for stopping by don't forget to like subscribe share all that nonsense so yeah catch you next time peace